94.1 WHRP. Tony with T Mill in the morning. morning. Yes, <laughs> it is Monday. Lots of businesses opening around the Tennessee Valley. Folks saving money, ready for those New Year's resolutions. So we're going to help you out. Got Tish Hardrick and Associates with us. Good morning, Tish. Hey, Tish. Yeah. Good, good morning. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. A lot of us are doing health checkups and we're getting things ready for the new year. What about financial health checkups? Can you help us out with that, Tish? I sure can. You can say that again, Tim. Just like you visit the doctor to examine your health-related vital signs, a financial checkup should start with an examination of your financial vital signs. And everyone must make adjustments to their financial plans from time to time. And the great news is these tips can help you improve these financial vital signs that you have and your overall financial health. Five tips today for financial health checkups. Let's start with number five, Tish. My favorite word, budget. Budget, budget, budget. And stick to a budget. Think of a budget as a tool that empowers you. And by knowing where your money goes each month, you can make other financial decisions with ease and find the money you need to reach your goals. All right. And checking up on your finances for businesses, entrepreneurs, if you want to stay in business and thrive, what is tip number four? Build your emergency savings. Even if you start small, a bit of money each week in savings, is going to really help you. Just put a little bit of money in savings that can prevent you from taking on more high interest credit card debt and things like that. Talking to Tish Hardrick and Associates, we have the financial health checkups. When's the last time you've checked in on your bank accounts? All right. What is tip number three? Look for ways to save money. Review your monthly expenses for things like subscriptions that you know you're not using mm. and money that you're just wasting or take out food, things that can shine a light on instant ways to save on cash. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. What's tip number two? Pay down that high interest debt because the sooner you pay this off, the earlier you can start meeting other financial goals and you should even be paying more debt off earlier by wanting to do that at the beginning of the year <laughs> right financial health checkups have you ever heard of this before if not you're hearing it for the first time with tish hardrick and associates five tips today and tip number one is number one is make sure you are covered if you're not carrying coverage for renters or life insurance Think about the cost of not having this coverage. Consider renter's insurance if you're renting an apartment or some type of building and be sure you want to protect the contents of that apartment or building, especially if replacing them would mean incurring more credit card debt. So you want to also consider things like term life insurance policies that will pay off your home for your spouse and things like that in the event of your death. So check into things and make sure you're covered. So Tish, if a business owner or entrepreneur needs a financial checkup, how can they get in contact with you? You can always contact us by following us at thetishteam.com, where we're building foundations of success one step at a time with grants, business consultancy, and careers. 